Okay, we're here at gotomat.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to multiplying and dividing rational numbers. Click on 1.2. And let me scribble this down. We got 6x to the 7th over 18. Um, negative y to the 4 times negative y to the 9 over x to the 16th. All right. We got it. So 6x to the 7th over 18 negative y to the 4th and that's times negative y to the 9th over x to the 16th. Huh. Okay. I don't know. I was looking at something there. <clears> hmm. <throat> All right, we'll find out here in a minute. We have uh, the 6 and the 18 obviously can reduce down. We got 6 goes into 6 one time, and 6 goes into 18 three times. It goes into 18 three times. Okay. And, uh, what else we got going on here? Um, okay, so I'm just going to write it like this first. We'll go ahead and just reduce that part and then we'll just rewrite. So we drop the dot and multiply the numerators and the denominators together. All right. I'm going to take this x to the 16th up here to the top. This is kind of refresh your memory. Remember, comes a negative. Now let's take a look at this. We have a negative number raised to a uh, odd number. A negative, for example, remember this is equal to a negative 1. If this were a positive number, then it would be a positive 1. Okay, but it's uh, an odd number. All right. So that can just be reduced down to y to the ninth, or ninth. But now remember, it's negative. Let's just take that negative and bring it out to the front there. Okay. And then what do we got going on down here? We'll just go ahead and and just rewrite this. So this is a negative raised to a positive, so that's going to go away. And we're going to be left with y to the fourth. Now we could have went ahead and took the y to the fourth up here to the numerator if we wanted to, but one thing at a time. So we have 2 minus 16, that's going to be x to the negative 14, and then y to the ninth. Let's just go ahead and take that other y up to the top here, no sense in getting in a hurry. And simplifying this down, so we have, um, we'll just go ahead and write that with a negative exponent for right now. And so this is going to end up being, uh, what is this, 5? Five? 5. But we don't want to write our answer with negative exponents. So let's go ahead and do this. Over x to the 14th. x to the 14th. So all that stuff reduced down to that, huh? Okay, so we got a negative out front, y to the 5th, and x to the 14th. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did I forget here? Uh, six, yeah, well, we forgot to add that. Six goes, that's three. There should be a three down here in the denominator. Six goes into six one time. Six goes into, th so, I'm not sure how I let that slip by. <clears throat> this would be all over three. Wow. What a mess. I'm sure some of you out there was like, hey, whoa, what happened to the three? Yeah, well, that's what happens sometimes when you get in a hurry. Um, okay, I'm getting something. Whoops. Uh, where are we at here? Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Ah. How'd that happen? Hmm. Must be asleep at the wheel. That is a seven. And how it morphed into a two, I don't know. That stuff drives me crazy. 7 minus 16, so 6, 7, 8, 9. Hmm. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. I'd normally make this video over, but I've already done it once because the computer shut down on me. So, okay, negative y to the fifth over 3x to the ninth power. Negative y to the fifth over 3x to the ninth power. There it is. All right. So, Keep me straight on that. Okay, so we're over to go to Matt.com. See you in the next problem.